Governor Hochul prepared to declare a state of emergency as the vaccine mandate for hospital and nursing home workers takes effect today. A state of emergency would allow the governor to bring in health care workers from other states and countries, as well as recent graduates, retirees, and formerly practicing health care providers. Another option is to deploy medically trained National Guard members or partner with the federal government to send in disaster medical assistance teams. Northwell Health, the city's largest health care system, promised that patient care will not be affected by the vaccine mandate. And in a statement, Governor Hochul said, quote, we are still in a battle against COVID to protect our loved ones, and we need to fight with every tool at our disposal. According to the governor's office, health care workers who are fired for refusing the vaccine will not receive unemployment benefits unless they can prove a medical exemption. The union representing SUNY hospital workers says it will suspend but not fire unvaccinated employees. While I firmly believe that every New Yorker should get a COVID-19 vaccination, it is also fundamentally important that we never back down in our fight to protect the rights of our members. And healthcare workers in hospice, home care, and adult care facilities will be mandated to get their first dose of the COVID vaccine by October 7th.